In this video, I show you how to use multiple dependent drop down lists so I can pick something here that changes the options that I have over here. That means that what I can choose from in this drop down is dependent on what I chose in this drop down. Casper from Spreadsheeto.com here, and dependent drop down lists are way easier than you think they are to make. Here we have a small database of countries. We have four different countries, and we have some employees that are employed in these countries. In the real world, these data points would be on another sheet probably. But in this case, I'm gonna make it easy for you to understand, so I'm gonna put it right here next to the actual drop downs. The first thing you need to do is to make all these countries into named ranges. That means that the UK list here should be one name, the France list here should be another name, and you can see over here in the name field that I have already named the, the, the lists here. That means that this is Italy, this is UK, this is nothing yet, so I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Just select the data points that goes into it, which in this case are the names here, not the header, just the names. And just go here and write USA, hit enter, and that's the named range right there. So the second thing we need to do is to create a normal dropdown for the first level of this dependent dropdown list. So I'm just gonna choose a random amount of cells here. It could be, could be the entire column actually. I'm just gonna choose these. And then from the data tab, I'm gonna insert the data validation feature that is a dropdown list. And I'm gonna pick a source here and that source is these four countries right here. Hit enter or okay. And now we have a simple drop down list in all of these cells. So the third thing you need to do is to create a drop down menu here in the select staff column. So here we need to select these cells and use data validation again and a drop down menu. So this time it's a bit different. Here we need the source to be dependent on what we chose in column A. So we need to point at column A to tell what range we need to look in. And that means we need the indirect function. The indirect function in this case only has a one argument to put in it and that is this cell right here. So after that we're gonna delete the second dollar sign. That means we're gonna make this a mixed reference and not an absolute reference. That means we create a drop down list in each of the cells that I selected here and the source for each of these drop down lists or what's in column A, but not just column A row two, but because this is a mixed reference, the row number actually changes as we move down here in the cells. That means that when I hit okay now, you'll get a, an error that's normal, just click yes, and now we're actually good to go. So select the country here, it could be UK, let's do France here, and now the options to select the staff should change dependent on what we chose in the country here. So here we should have the UK options and that we do. These are the same options that we have over here. And for France, we need to have these options over here. So Lisa, Pierre, Lucien, Fleur. Yep, that's it. That's how you make a dependent drop down list in multiple rows in a data set. This was for two levels. Now we're gonna move on to three levels, which is a bit more advanced, but not much. The principle is totally the same, but before we do so, please subscribe to the channel if you like my video. So I just switched out the file here for another one that has a smaller amount of options because otherwise it would be, this would be very difficult to show you. Um, so we have uh, USA and UK as countries that we can select over here. Um, so let's just make a drop down for that to begin with. Go to the data tab and data validation list. And here we select between USA and UK and that's it. All right, so now we can pick between those two countries. In order for the rest to work, we need to create the named ranges for each of these things. So this needs to be USA like this. This needs to be UK. And these things needs to be what's in the header above. So this needs to be Peter because these are the assistants to choose from if we choose Peter as the staff. So this is John, this is Micah, this is Ali, this is Michelle, this is Sarah. 
So you can see here actually that you could choose um, empty cells as well to, to keep the name ranges large enough to encompass data that will be added to these lists. You can also use dynamic name ranges, but that's outside the scope of this video. All right, so we have this ready so we can choose a country here, that's great. Now we need to be able to pick a staff. So this is basically what we did before. So list indirect and pick um, this cell right here. Delete the, the second dollar sign, close parenthesis and hit okay. So here we can choose from the list over here that changes dependent on what we choose in the country column. So we're just gonna go with Michelle here. And here in the assistant, we need to now be able to select from Jacob, Amelia, and Freddie. So we're gonna do the exact same thing again. Go to data validation, hit list. Then here in the source, indirect again, click on B2 this time and delete the second dollar sign, close parenthesis and hit OK. And now we have these options that are exactly what they need to be, Jacob, Emilia and Freddie. So let's do a couple of more. UK, USA, we're going to pick Sarah and Sarah have these picks. So we should be able to choose from those and we are. So this is working as intended and that's how you create multi-level dependent drop down lists in multiple rows in Excel. If you want to learn more Excel, please check out my free online Excel training that adapts to your skill level at spreadsheetcom YouTube. If you want to learn more about drop downs, please check out this video. And if you want to learn more about dependent drop down lists, please check out this video up here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.